Yeah, this may worse to the gear to you them. The montages fusing in and out of the main video are just for educational purpose yet based on real life events that portrays some of the side effects or dangers of doing drugs. We need not to pace the deck if the captain of our salvation, Christ Jesus, is seated at the helm. This is your behavioral modification analyst, Noah King, right here in the place to be. And we're bringing you chosen success story. Using Rehab Center, we enjoy when it comes to security. We make sure that we have it and are totally secure. Just bring in your drug addicted relative and watch us work on this transformation with the power of God while you stay at home and rest in peace. You can locate Chosen Rehab Center at Achimata Abufu. Call 0555-466-374. 0555-466-374. Good to have you on the show. Thank you. Uh, can you tell us your name? Simon Kajua Simon. I can tell you a Ghanaian. Yes, please. Where do you hail from? Sunday Papa East. Yeah. And your mom? We are, we are all from Northern. From Northern region. Southern, yes. But how come is your mom settling at Murphy? Okay, it's because of me. Actually, we were staying in East Legon, Legon Barras, police barracks. Okay. My father was a policeman and he went to pension. But I moved to the, uh, Murphy mm. to do the work of God over there. Okay. So she followed me to that place. Yeah. Because Good. my father died early. Uh, I, I, is your dad a Muslim? Yeah, he was a Muslim. But through Presbyterian, she converted and he converted and came to Presby. Oh, okay. That is the reason why we came to Christianity. Yeah. Um, were you in, in a monogamous or polygamous marriage? No, actually, yeah. My, he got married to two women. Okay. My, my mommy was the second one. Mm. So my mommy gave birth to two of us. I and my sister. Okay. And my senior brothers and sisters. So where do you fall in, in, the, in the hierarchy? Okay, actually, my senior brother is staying at Tema. Mm -hmm. And my other sister also is staying at um, Medina. Mm -hmm. And the rest is staying at Kumasi. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm asking where you fall in the hierarchy. Were you the second child or the third or okay, something? Like my yeah. mommy, I'm the first. Yeah. And but in your in, in, in your father's, father's line, side, I'm you're the, the third. Yeah. I'm, I'm or the second? No, fourth. The fourth? Oh, yes, please. Oh, okay. Yes. We are all six. You're six in number? Yes, please. Oh, okay, good. Yes. Uh, tell me, where did you, you know, commence school? Okay. And at what level did you complete? Okay. Um, I went to Accra Technical and Commercial at that was Banyard. And I did a draftsmanship over there. Mm -hmm. I completed and, uh, after the school before I I started work with Von Parker Company Limited. And what do you do? I draw a plan okay. as a draftsman. Mm -hmm. So I worked for three years before the Lord called me into the ministry work. and I started to do the work of God. And by the grace of God, the Lord was doing so good with me. But unfortunately, the devil came to steal, to kill and to destroy. I don't get you. Uh, uh, I'm trying to say that... You were doing well in ministry. In ministry and you were doing the work of work God. Of God. So mightily. Yeah, and who, where, where was the devil? Uh, actually, I begin to have some little problems in my marriage. Mm -hmm. In my marriage. And it took me to the world. Mm, uh, well, I, I need not to ask, but I have to. Yes. What was the challenge in your marriage? Oh, uh, actually... Um, the woman which God gave me, she changed on the way. Did you marry her by doing the wedding or you were just living with her as though no, you were couples? Yeah, Apostle Yawadu mm -hmm. in Kofodia, 
He's the one who blessed the marriage. Did the word in? Yes, please. He said, yes. great man of God. And what transpired? What transpired after the word and, and that led to um, your depression? She changed. How did she change? Okay, she was flirting with the former boyfriend and one minister of the gospel in uh, Methodist. It, it presupposes that you were unable to do for her what her former boyfriend had done for her. By the grace of God, you were living so happily and blessed. Happiness is a state of mind. Yes. What you might turn happy would not be somebody's happiness. It's true. So I, I believe that you being the head of the family, you should be able to know your wife's problems. Yeah. So when I say that you were not doing or been responsible for her as the former boyfriend was doing, that is why all those replications. Not that, not, not that at all. Because is it because she is a flat and therefore she chose to, is that what you mean, that she's a flat and therefore she chose to flit around knowing that she's married to a pastor? Um, actually, we got married and in about two years, I got to know that she was even a lesbian. And being in that act, she told me so many things and I still accepted her. I, 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 I think you, you're driving me um, a little bit crazy here. Yeah. You are a man of God. Yes, please. And going to marry a woman, you need to make a thorough investigation about the woman, yeah. whether she will, you are compatible with her or not. It's true. You didn't do all these things, I believe, because if you did, you wouldn't have this problem. Actually, not the best. I did, but uh, actually... Did I, you date? How long had you been dating before you married her? For about a year. You dated for a year? For a year. A year before we got married. And what transpired? She was flirted. So many things happened. And, and your... Actually, I, I, I'm not a type who, that I always condemn people or I will just judge you or condemn you just like that. You had a church? Yes, please. How many members were you having in those times? Um, actually, we were having like 400 chairs at times. Big hundred to add to it, so about five hundred. Would you agree with me that you had not even gotten to the leverage where you should have opened a church? You should have been under the tutelage of a minister and under him for a time or for some seasons before you 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 up your game by opening a church. That is the feeling that I have. Yeah, actually. I was under a minister from the gospel, a great man of God, the Reverend Richard J. Tete. I was with him. And then he comes to Odomo and he blessed me after I finished my Bible school. And he says, go and open your church. So he gave me the opportunity. And he told you, how old were you then? That time I was 23 years. That is why I really want you to get this, that it wasn't time for you to open church. Human management is not easy. Managing your own self comes with challenge. Managing your family comes with challenge. And then taking a load upon your head that you are managing a church is a different ballgame. I thought that you missed the goal. Yeah, actually... I, me, myself, I did so many mistakes yeah. and I admitted it. I accept that, yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. And my problem was when I got married, I was concentrating on the marriage 
my, my mind was upon the marriage, just for the marriage to stand and to move on well. But the best that I was doing was not the best. Yeah. I was believing that it will work good, but things mess up and it affects the ministry also. So at what point in time did the problem of you and your wife um, surfaced into depression and your drug use? Actually, as I worked for about um, 33 years, uh, at the age of 33 years, that the ministry was moving forward. But that was about 10 years ago that the ministry was moving forward. And the elders of the church, they said that, no, you have to get married because the congregation and the people that God is giving to you, you have to be able to stand in a marriage form so that you'll be able to draw the ministry. So uh, are, you, are you having children with her? I have two children with her. Uh, one boy, one girl. And How old are they now? Uh, right now, the first is 10. The second is eight. What are their names? I live in Kofodia. What are their names? Nanayao Akanferi. Nanayao. Nerajua Akanferi. Where are they as of now? Kofodia. Are they schooling? Are they schooling? Yes, please. When was the last time you saw them? Actually, the gospel fought for about eight years now. You've not set eyes on them? I've not seen them with my eyes. You are an irresponsible man and a father. Yeah. And I've been giving my mother bed. Why haven't you visited them? Actually, I felt ashamed. Is it because of your drug use? Yes, please. Then it's not because you were ashamed. It is because the money that you would use in picking car and then giving some to your mom to cater for them and so into you have to use it for drugs. No, actually, I thank God that he gave me a family. Yeah. And my family have been doing that for me and through my mom. But my drug issues, it became like I stay away from ministry because I was feeling guilty and ashamed. So the church, the church dissolved and all members scattered. Actually, I called one of my friends and I gave him the ministry to take care of. And I just left the ministry. When you say you gave them the ministry, yeah. you gave them the ministry under your name. What was the name of your church? Power in His Resurrection. Power. So as your friend pastoring Power in His Name Ministry. Power in His Resurrection Ministry. Yeah, Power in His Resurrection Ministry. Yeah. Is that the church your friend is managing, or he has also taken off the name and he has placed his own name. I asked him to take the name off. So yeah. He use his own name. And he is using his own name right now. But I don't go there. Do you have regrets on this? <laughs> Seriously. Actually, I feel that do you, do you Do you really think that you are called to ministry or you were doing it for the money? I thank God that I was blessed before I entered into ministry because the gift that God gave me that I used to draw, I was making money and having whatever that a man should have. I was yeah, okay. but everybody needs more. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. But as the gospel for us, it was not because of money that I went into ministry. It was the love of God. I did the work of God with passion. And anybody who knows me, who knows how I flow with the word of God, they see that no, it's not because of money that I do the work of God. God bless me. He really bless me. Not because I like money or 
I want to do it for riches or yes. substance. Even you coming to choose a rehabilitation center, I, 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 it's, it's evidence. I saw that no, this guy has an unction to function in ministry. Uh, but what actually baffles my mind is why the space of 10 years and you weren't able to read between the lines and then wake up quickly and go on actually, to your ministry? Actually, I've tried. I've tried to quit drugs. I've tried to stay away from it. Who taught you how to smoke drugs? I went to the ghetto just to free my mind. Because the woman left you? Yeah, not that she left me. Did she pack her things and left or you sucked her? No. We were staying in Kofoglia and I left the house and I moved to mountains. So when I moved to mountains, I just went to the ghetto. And all this while she was staying at the very house you yes, guys were living. Yes. And you never returned? Never returned to the house. And did you tell her you, you broke with her? I told her that I will not come back again. Did you go to sign at um, the, the Ministry yes. of the Court? Yes, please. We went and signed, but I didn't go to No, break no. Up. Well, yeah, you didn't go to break up. Yeah, yeah I didn't yeah. go to break up. Yeah. With you, you just called her on the phone and then said, yes, I'm not returning back. I, I told her. In front of but her. do you know that in the laws of Ghana, yeah, that's marriage, it's still marriage? Yes, I know. I know. I know, but I believe right now she is also fed up with me. <laughs> that is how I feel that she's also fed up with me because right now it came to a time that I gave, I gave up with even myself. I gave up on myself and everything changed, everything changed, things went bad, so bad. I am concerned very much with the children. You and I know that when the children are here as of now, you cannot recognize them as your children and neither can they recognize you as a father. By me watching you say, oh, me papa nie. they can't. Unless perhaps your mom is there to say, hey, that's your father. And then say, father, that's your son or your children. They resemble me a lot. They resemble you. But what I mean is with, the, uh, with regard to the children, well, you can actually fathom that. Yeah. But with regard to the children, it will be hard for them to recognize you as okay. your father. Okay. That one, dear. I can't say more about that. But. What do you have to say to the children as they are watching you? Right now, do you have any? I, I I feel so bad and so ashamed, and I pray that they will forgive me. They are listening I, I, to you. I, I, I pray that they will forgive me, and I, I want I want you to speak it directly, uh, my son. Me. Could you uh, this this this? <laughs> I am pleading with you to forgive me Manuel. of my irresponsibility on your part. Yes. Yeah, I want you to say something to them. As Manuel, I confer it. And Grisella, I pray that you will find a place in your heart to forgive me. Because I didn't do well as a father. And I should have gathered some courage to stand. But I was not able to stand. And I pray that God will help me to come to you and I'm praying that you have mercy and forgive me and I'll be very very excited that you'll find a place in your heart to forgive me thank you and in the court of animals this is what I keep saying that you we make a moral inventory fearless moral inventory of ourselves that's quite important um, I think this is where time will permit us. We'll resurface after three months and then speak some more. Thank Great you. to have you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much and God bless you. This has been Chosen Success Story. Love life and say no to drugs.
at chosen rehab center we don't just cure them but we keenly focus on their renewal of the mind change is possible say no to drugs yes to life